China's been using experts from government-backed think tanks to indirectly speak with the Indians. One such voice, a leading voice, I should note, Hu Shisheng, has told the Times of India that indeed that remains the official position coming from Beijing. No talks as long as the Indian troops are there. Now, just to recap, China says that one month ago today, Indian troops crossed into a Himalayan plateau called Doklam, that's in an area known as Sikkim. A Chinese construction firm reinforced by a team of unarmed Chinese soldiers had been building a road through the valley, a road that China insists was being built peacefully and on sovereign soil. Now, Bhutan also has a claim to the territory, and a group, small group of Indian troops who were based there were sent in to block the construction. Since then, more and more troops from both China and India have arrived. We should note that the two countries share 4,000 kilometers of border, much of it unguarded. But the Chinese foreign ministry says this incident, what it's dubbed trespassing, is different. The Sikkim section was formally defined by the convention between Great Britain and China relating to Sikkim and Tibet in 1890. The successive governments of both China and India have recognized the validity of the convention, which is therefore valid and legally binding for both countries. Well, meanwhile, Delhi is standing its ground but insists the standoff will be resolved without any, quote, muscle flexing. As far as Doklam area uh, issue is concerned, uh, you know we we have diplo we have diplomatic uh, channels available. The embassies are there in both countries, and those channels uh, will continue to be used. Still, for many on both sides, the confrontation is a reminder of the month-long war. The two countries fought more than 50 years ago again over a road. And one of the big questions here is how does each side take a step back without seeming like they're retreating in the eyes of their own people.